With over 70% of Earth's surface covered in ocean water, have you ever wondered what technology could help us turn seawater into drinking water? Today we're taking a look at how scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory are making improvements on water desalination. So traditional desalination techniques work like this. You pump in seawater at really high pressures and pass it through reverse osmosis membranes. Um, and those membranes reject salts and other large particles and allow clean water to come through. But there's a catch. Desalination plants are extremely expensive and on top of it, they only produce about 10% of a county's water needs. So in need of new membrane technology, Scientists are looking to nature for inspiration. We're actually mimicking uh, the way biological membranes are structured because basically biological membranes, they also have um, kind of matrix with pores inside that membrane. So what, what we've done is we basically were able uh, to create pores that are um, providing the same function but uh, in, in something that's Man -made. And so what benefits do these new and improved membranes have? The properties of these nanotubes allow the really high flux of water. What it is, it's basically it's a straw that's made of carbon, but the ones that we use are, are actually really narrow straws and they are so narrow that basically you can only fit a water molecule in those straws one at a time. We call them basically a single file water tube. And when it comes to actually taking the salt out of ocean water, it works like this. The salt ions are a little bit bigger. They and we're, the nanotubes that we're using are really narrow, so it's a size restriction. They don't want to get in. And also just because of the charge of the salt ions, like positive and negative ions in the salt water, they get rejected by the charges at the end of the nanotube. It's important for the country to ensure that we all have access to the clean and safe water supply. The ocean is the only source of water that's basically unlimited. It's uh, really exciting to kind of work with nanomaterials and give them new applications for age-old problems. So it looks like we'll be able to use the ocean for more than just surfing and deep sea fishing. For more information on clean water technology, visit us online at llnl.gov and make sure to subscribe to this channel and like us on Facebook for more videos letting you in behind the scenes of all the science happening here at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory.